It says we're live. What's up, people? Miss Ron, what's that, Rhonda? Rhonda Robertson, Smith, how are you doing? It's been a while since we talked to you. Y'all, we fixing to start to get cooking here in just a minute. I'm excited. And uh. Most of the stuff we're going to be cooking is just simple stuff. Uh, a lot of people tell me they like the simple stuff. They just don't know how to cook it. Well, we're going to show you how to cook it. There's a ultra mint. I'm kind of waiting on Miss Dennett, y'all. She's out there. Uh, she had to run inside. It's just some of the people that's uh that that we cook with all the time. Hardened seasoning. Um, I know we do all kind of cooking. Hardened is a good seasoning. I just started working with Blackstone. Blackstone's a uh, company that gets me all these, sells me these grills and stuff. And this is one we're going to be cooking on tonight. This one right here. This is what they call a tailgate model. I hope I ain't got it. Here we go. I want to show y'all this one before we even get started. You, uh, this is what we call a tailgate model. It folds up so easy. And it goes into your, uh, you put it in your truck, and just whatever you want to. Uh, folds up real easy. If you don't have these, let me set these pans over here. Show y'all something. This is what you call the barbecue box. You put this on here, okay, and you've got a grill. You can barbecue. And uh, I think you can cook biscuits on here. I'm going to try it. The next couple of days, I will try it. Okay? Take this off. Hang on, y'all. Don't give up on me. Y'all watch it. Then you got this griddle you can put on. Cook with this. And I like that. You, know? so you got it good at all with this. But today I'm just going to use it just like this. We're going to try to cook our our gravy right here and and, and stuff. So I didn't tell y'all what we was making. I gotta go get it. So y'all hang on just a second. I'll be right back. I'm waiting on Miss Jen. Oh, kitty kitties, y'all got to move. Move. Y'all went to go get something, forgot what I went to go get. And can't, uh, uh, I need a uh, plate. I think I'm going to need a plate to plate this stuff up. That's what I'm doing. I'm lost without Miss Janet, y'all. Y'all know how that works. And this blue line, Jennifer. What's up, Jennifer from Oklahoma? Having fried chicken, fried squash, like I peas and cornbread. That sounds good to me. Uh, We're fixing just to get start cooking just a minute. Kind of waiting on Miss Jen to come back. Uh, I guess what I can do, I can put my fire under this thing. Let it start heating up a little bit. Won't hurt nothing to do that. Make sure I turn my gas on. Watch this, y'all how easy this is. Lit. Got an electronic lighter. We uh, It's just electric, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Easy to fool with. Doug Brewster, what's up, Doug? I 
you somebody coming, y'all. I think it's Miss Janet. Hot diggity dog. Y'all, we ain't forgot about y'all, y'all. We just, uh, it just takes a minute <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. What? Am I in view right now? Let me yep. put this down. Uh-oh. I say, oh. Got a first thing. First thing we're going to do is turn that fan in a different direction. Start you again. All right. Well, can you see me, bud? Yeah, I can see you. Y'all, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get a stick of butter. I forgot to tell everybody what we're cooking, babe. Can't believe that. Mm -mm -mm. No matter how much room you got, you ain't never got enough room. Y'all, I'm melting a whole stick of butter in here, and what we're cooking is uh, chicken fried steak and white gravy. I don't know if y'all ever had that before. Trust me, it's good. And you can, uh, I'm using some little steaks down that got some tenderized steaks, but you could use chicken. I like to take chicken, a uh, little bit of everything, any kind of, <laughs> any kind of like chicken breast and, and just pound them out flat. Sounds what you pound delicious. with a hammer, you pound them out flat, salt and pepper them, that's it. Salt and pepper. This is one of them. <laughs> Let me get me a, uh, uh, some flour here. Got me a cup of flour. One cup of flour, one stick of butter. Look, I'm just going to put it in here like that. Now what we're making is the white milk gravy. I got my roux spoon my mother-in-law gave me. She just gave me this last week. But I like to kind of heat it like this. Stir it, stir it, stir it. That's the thing with the white gravy. you got to stir it. Stir, stir, stir. You having troubles, Mom? Huh? No. Going? No. I got to work. You got to work? Rhonda, the one that we met at uh, yeah, the first she, one. Yeah, she said anything's good with a stick of butter. Yeah, anything starts out with a stick of butter. I ain't got to the bacon fat yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you just make it, and what you do, you just heat it up, and it's making a paste what it's doing. Sort of like a, like a, a paste. Now usually I'll get my steaks going, which I'll get them going in a few minutes. I like to brown that a little bit, and then I'm going to get my milk. This is the main ingredients. This is, I guess what, this is what you call milk gravy. And it's a pain. It ain't huh. fun to make. It ain't fun to make. <laughs> it's good, though. You got to get the butt twisting, butt shaking into it. You got to get some butt shaking into yeah. it. Yeah. Love white gravy. This stuff is uh, a good white gravy. I've been with my friends, you know, we, we, we'd we uh, be cooking at a uh, barbecue festival or something like that, and I make a pot of it. I'm talking about a pot of this gravy. And my buddy Daryl, he said, uh, he said, Bruce, wait, what, who gonna eat all that? I said, don't worry, Daryl, just watch. <laughs> I made a big pot of this white gravy and had cooked some biscuits. James says chocolate gravy's good too. Chocolate gravy. That does sound good. Hey from Maine. What's up, Maine? But you just gotta stir and stir and stir. You keep your fire down low. Real low. Hey Beth and Terry. Beth and Terry, how y'all doing? Beth and Terry. Now, once you hit a certain point, it, the gravy gets easier. And I always make too much. I usually use a bigger pot, but I use this skillet tonight just to kind of kind of show you all how I figured you'd be able to see it easier. I'm picking up the milk. Uh, Tammy wants to know where you buy your, your cast iron stuff, your skillets and stuff. Oh, everything I got so far has actually come from a flea market. 
just about. My grandmother gave me some stuff, a couple pieces. My mom would give me a piece or two. But most of my cast iron comes from uh, from uh, flea markets. Me and Miss Jen like to do the flea markets. And we find old cast iron, and I just redo it. Rob said he adds his milk first, then butter and flour. Well, Rob does it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> just pick it. Everybody does it different. You know, everybody, it depends how your mama taught you. <laughs> That's what I always tell everybody. But uh, the main thing is you just never stop stirring. It comes to a point, I'd like to make a machine that do this. Mm-hmm. But I done made pots and pots of this gravy. And in the morning, I like to put, it's just regular milk gravy. So you take and make you some biscuits. And you cut up sausage and fry your sausage and put your fried sausage in there. Oh, that is good. That's still a lot of gravy just for me and you, ain't it? Yeah, I think I kind of overdid it. I wanted a lot to kind of show everybody. Plus, I know Miss Jenna ain't going to let me eat all this gravy. And that's your, this is your basic gravy that, that is just good. It's just good. They said you need a whisk. Try a whisk, Bruce. I never tried a whisk with this. We got a whisk? Yeah, but I don't know if I got one in here. I got one inside. We got one inside. I've never tried a whisk, but I'd be glad to. This Jen's going to have to get me one, y'all. I see that thing they advertise on TV, that little electric spinning thing that jumps around in your pot. <laughs> i probably eat the, the pot up. I mean, you just, it just takes a little while. I think I tried it with a blender one time. It did so so. What I need to get me is assistant to. Uh, yeah. To stir this. Can you think you can stir this and run the camera back? Yep. <laughs> Use what a shovel. Somebody said. Huh? <laughs> Use a shovel. Somebody yeah. said. Why? What you gonna do? No, I'm, I'm picking, I'm picking. Oh, you're picking? Yeah. We about got it where we can... Yummy! It it down. But this white gravy, all you want to... Look, I done, I done made a many of these white gravies. And the only thing you want to put into it... You know I love my different seasonings and stuff. But uh, all you want to put in a white gravy is salt and pepper. That's it. Don't you have this recipe in one of your cookbooks? I don't remember. I do. Probably had a white gravy recipe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to look like it. Somebody said, get an assistant and be like Martha Stewart on the other swamp. Diana <laughs> said. <laughs> what now? Get an assistant and be like Martha Stewart on the... Yeah. <laughs> Martha Stewart of the swamp. Huh? Yep. Yeah, I think you get it good now. I can kind of let it sit back and bubble a little bit and just watch it. Smelling good. It is. It really is. You using buttermilk, they said? No, I'm just using regular old, regular old milk. You might have enough for a biscuit in the morning, huh? Mmm. I don't better. No, I'm not going to eat no biscuit. Y'all been <laughs> trying to watch what I eat. Tomorrow I am definitely getting up. I'm going to paddle that kayak somewhere. I got to get, get back in my exercise routine. Y'all know the big tree glim fell on the house and all that mess. I've been messing with that all day. Yesterday we put up wire and stuff. It's just, uh, don't stop around here. But, come Wednesday, we're gone. We're going camping, y'all. Wednesday we're leaving, right, Mama? Yeah. Says, what are you cooking? They want to know again. Smell Smelling good. We're making chicken fried steak and you gravy. You still had everywhere. I know, bud. You just cleaned all your stove up nice and pretty. Yep. Hey, from Mississippi. What's up, Mississippi's in the house? We're going to switch pots right here. Let's set this one right here. Bruce, Brandy wants to know what your favorite thing to eat is. This is one of them, actually. But with alligator. Yeah. But with alligator. I cook this dish here a lot of times for Ron. And uh Ron loves it too. Ron loves it. 
Tallahassee. Tallahassee. It's up Tallahassee. Turn this thing down a little bit. We're just gonna let this simmer here. I think you get this North other pot Carolina. Started. Messy Marvin, yeah, that's right. That's me. Y'all just seen I made all this mess right here. And he gonna move and make a mess on the other side. Yep. Washington, D.C. South Carolina. Mike Betty. What do you say? Mike I Betty. like two kinds of gravy. Hot and cold. <laughs> hot and cold. That's yeah. funny. This old white gravy here, you can put this on the tire and eat it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, all you need on this, a little pepper. Michigan. So Michigan Louisville, in Kentucky. That's one of them deals. That's all you basically need. A little pepper. Okay. Okay, a lot of pepper. Black pepper. Just come in black pepper. Don't put too much. I'm not one. She always tells me that. <sighs> She's always telling me I put too much. What is that. that big meat loaf you make? Oh, that's a fad. What's that? A fatty? It's in our cookbook too. Yeah, I, I mean, we need to make a fatty. Oh, like Dale Johnson said they're in Alaska on a cruise. We want to oh, go. We want to go cruising. I cook. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Rhonda says good. yes. I love black pepper in my milk gravy. I like if you don't overdo it. What? I said, I like it if you don't overdo it. We ain't doing no salt. We need salt. This ain't going to get it. Oh, we got some inside. We're going to get it. You can do it a little bit. A little bit. We said it went inside. So y'all don't tell her what I did, huh? Put a little more pepper. La -de -da -de -da. It's hard to keep stuff dry out here. I mean, Getting Our season gets clogged up pretty fast around here. I don't know why. Moisture. Moisture. Okay, we're going to stick a little more milk in here. Okay, put this in your hand and into it. Don't pour it like this so you're going to... Yes, ma'am. have to throw it out and I'm going to be mad. Put a little honey in your gravy, they said. When the gravy is done, you won't regret it, I promise. Oh, well, I don't know. I might add a little honey in some in a little bit, but I know this works. Okay, this is how Justin Wilson used to measure his salt. Sharon, you get a that be a teaspoon. You get a cookbook. Go on his Facebook, his web. I mean his web page, and you can order them. Let's see. Oh, I'm just letting. I put some extra milk in here, so it'd be. I like mine runny. This didn't like hers runny. I like a thick gravy. What we're gonna do? We're gonna stick this over here on the fire and let it start heating up. I like to heat my skillets a little bit before I start using them. Somebody said put rice in it. Put rice in it. Hey, Laura. I think I've seen Laura. Laura, Laura Spence. Yeah. Hey, y'all. One thing I can make is gravy, even when it, when I don't mean to. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have them uh, chopped steak, frying chopped steak, and gravy on top. With green beans, you gotta do your green beans, baby. Gonna take a while. Yeah, they are. Get them smothered like we like them. They're gonna take a while. Uh. Okay. I didn't want to like that with you right there, but I guess you can. I'm letting this heat up again. Let me cut these two bones off. Okay. I need more meal. Put, uh, uh, our cookbooks are what online? Twelve ninety nine, I think. I have no idea. Don't make me lie. Biscuits, <coughs> milk gravy, yeah. Tennessee, smother them down. Love my green beans cooked that way. That's all the way on the way we cook them, Rhonda. So he's gonna try them on that grill tonight. I don't know how they're gonna come out. Dana says I always add scrambled eggs to their gravy. Good with breakfast food. We're just going to let them out right there. We're going to 
Put them down. Okay. You might put a little bit of butter on them in a little while. Yeah, huh? I'm gonna put a little butter. I'll, I'll do a little olive oil. Yeah, do that. That's better for you. Okay, we got a little olive oil on it. I'm going to get the uh, steaks. Get the steaks. Well, Stephen, yeah, you can can't move in because we just got rid of all our kids and we like not having no company. No, nobody living with us for a change after how many years? What's that now? 30 something. Somebody said they wanted to move in with us. Yeah. I was telling them we like being, being, mm -hmm. um, huh? This camera lady, I'm over here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking to everybody. Y'all putting a little flour in here? And, uh, this is your regular self-rising flour. And I got these sticks. Right, you know. I'm not even going to put no seasoning on them. I guess I could put yeah, a little. Yeah, put a little bit of season. I do inside. Uh, which one do you like? This one. We can put a little hard. Oh, uh-huh. You what? added pepper when I left, huh? Who said that? <laughs> I ain't telling you. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-oh, y'all remember. Mm -hmm. I got my hard season here. What I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh... Lay two of them out right here on the paper plates. Here, my little. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, Don't put yeah. a lot. I'm gonna put some of this hardened seasoning on here. I'm gonna add more when I get to the table for me. But uh, I like to put a little bit on both sides actually. <laughs> That's it. You better watch him, Janet. What you up to, Bruce? You, you forgot your live? Watch this, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there y'all go. <laughs> got that back? What? I threw my, my steak in there. Yeah. Okay. Got to get the flour all over it. Yep, you see why he's got outside kitchen, right? Okay, I'm putting my second one in there. Getting it stirred up. Now, let's set these two right here. I have a little, I'm going to get a little, put my water at? Okay. Right here. Just water. Just water. I like to re-wet these things. Yeah, again. and double it. Yay. Wet it twice. Watch this. And it sticks there. Brandon Daniels, do y'all have a way to cook when it rains? Yes. Yes. We cook out here in the house. Yeah, we got it. Hey, got, Nicole. We got it. Hey, Nicole. Are y'all camping? No, we're not the, camping. No, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to them. Oh, my. Y'all look at my floor. Look at the table. And that's why Miss Janet puts me out. Y'all look at the table. Okay, y'all. Look at the floor. I'm look at this. I'm fixing to drop this in here. Okay, I'm coming. Let me fix Come on. one. You got all that one. Hey, don't talk. You. I work cheap. Slosh, slosh. I'm cutting that off. Let me get another steak over here, y'all. That camera lady. Put another one. I think two are fit in there, huh? Yeah. Best cook is a messy one, they said. Well, that's why I like to get out, out here. I can, uh... Mm-hmm. You don't cook them too fast. Let me go, uh, work my hand up. He's right back. Y'all hear that? It's cooking? Good. Yes, I've been cleaning, trying to get ready for the bur baby's birthday. Party, Dean, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get an outside sink as soon as we finish the building. That's what that hole over there is with that pot stuff. That's gonna be our extra sink. Damn. They said to slow down, but we hungry. We're sick and smell it. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, it's winter. Yeah, our diet's going well, but we just thought we'd do this tonight. We we did good for the last few days, and uh, we thought we'd have a little gravy. I, I never did get no, no salt in it. Yeah, you did. I give you salt. Okay. Yeah, I can see where a wish would do this a lot better. I usually do a stick of, uh, stick of butter. Uh, uh, and a cup of flour. And that makes it a good bit of gravy. Okay, y'all, let me uh, flip these huh. beans right here. Somebody said he wished he could FedEx, FedEx it. You know that tilt, Mama? Huh? That tilt. I know, but just that. let me do this. You do that. Okay. The girls are down the river with their parents. No, Bruce just started cooking when he when we're not on the farm anymore. Because we're on the farm, he worked what every day for nine months straight. Seven days a week, nine months. So I had to be the mama, the daddy, the cook, the cleaner, everything. Yep, done it all. But them days is over with them. Yep. It's a good thing about having those kids. I got that water hose right there. When I get through. And y'all are off here. I'm going to take a water hose and shoot. I'm going to clean all this up. Who does the dishes? I do. She does. We both do them. I will wash this tonight. I ain't got no problem washing no dishes. Come back. They say they need a little garlic and stuff on the beans. We yeah. just put olive oil and a little butter. We don't really add much. No, we didn't sell the farm. We're just waiting to get it back. We own the farm. We own it, but family crap, as you should say. Is that a nice word to say, crap? Yeah. That's what you're wasting here. Hey, y'all. What am I going to fix the flip piece steak? Look at this. Okay. No, this is going to be super duper. Oh, it's just going to be good. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't get some excited about my food. Yeah. I bet you didn't think 37 years ago you'd be signing up to do my camera, camera lady, huh? Yeah. No, I think we can flip this thing. Brandon, Brandon said, what kind of form? It's the alligator and turtle form. Yeah, my day started in the 50s. A couple that fries together stays together. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think we just going to put one and plate it up. And yeah, won't you, won't you turn this around? Okay, y'all, I'm going to flip do it. do that so I can... Um, y'all, hold on, I'm going to flip y'all. I'm going to put my potatoes and all that. Richard, Scarborough, what's up? I haven't seen him or he just got there. He just got here. Let the man cook the way he wants. Thank you, Richard. Got somebody on one. Hey, Richard, how'd your stuff come out? Let me know. We cooking that, um... Ain't you got something to be doing? We cooking. I'm doing something. Oh. I got the spatula. Oh, okay. Um, Where's your taters at? We cooking, don't worry about me. We cooking um, chocolate cake and cherry for Christmas party. Well, I need to, uh, we need to eat on a real place tonight, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm running up. I'm coming in after you. Uh-oh, uh y'all, I did something. Charging, pause, battery, temporary, something. It said something about the battery charging or something. I don't know what it was. What's up, y'all? Hey, y'all, this is looking super delicious. Okay, so it... Hey, I got the plates right here. 
I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna put it straight on my plate, but right now I'm gonna stick it, stick it on on this plate to drain a little bit of the oil. Oh, oh you can do it. Get the table ready. You want to eat inside bank or out here? We eat out here. Okay. So this is just a, oh golly. No, it just ain't. It just don't get no better than this. Look at that. Well, I got to go get our drinks yet. Miss Janice going to get our drinks. There's our plate right there behind. I'm going to leave this right there. I thought she was watching this, but no. No, you got to watch it. I'd be liking to spice this up a little bit, y'all. We got it hot. Now we're gonna unplug this battery. Y'all, I squirted a little water on this, on these beans. Just to steam them up a little bit. Now that's regular canned beans. But this doesn't like the cooker beans. Put mash, I put some few potatoes in them, a little bacon, a little fat, something like that in. But you take a little of this water right here. You see how it just steams it up? Okay. All we need right now, I'm gonna just uh, something to get this gravy out this pot. But I'm definitely gonna have a lot of gravy on mine. Yeah. We're just all that. That's not gonna work. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need a spoon for the gravy. I'm gonna cut this off. This is terrible salt. Huh? That's terrible salt. Yeah. You got me a drink out there? Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm going to eat. Mr. Jack got some uh, bean, I mean some uh, corn right there. Oh, some what? Some, uh, I'm sorry, not corn. Mashed potatoes. Let me get over here. I'm put sorry. Them. Look. Miss Jen's got some mashed potatoes cooking. Well, nothing cooked. She done run away. She's been mixing them up right here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get me a plate, y'all. Pick and get me a plate. I can't wait no longer. I'm presuming that big old steak over there is mine. So, bring us a big spoon, Mama. It sure is cold in there. It's cold in there? Yeah. Right, let me go get a spoon for you. I'll get it. You know where one's at? Yep. For what, the gravy? Yeah. I used one, babe. What? I got one to use right here. I'll take this one. Over. I'll take this one and give you mine. Oh, you, oh, you got one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I know I couldn't find it, y'all. Sorry, she done had the, uh, she had it. Here, I'll let you borrow it. She's going to let me borrow it. How's that coming out? Like that. I'm a good, babe. I need to go something. Little butter or something. Yeah, I got one of these sticks. I'm fixing to put it yeah, in my plate. Get the big one. I don't want the big one. Oh, yeah. Today's your lucky day. <laughs> I'm hot. I keep telling you that. Y'all, we're going to get a little of this gravy. Just a little tad, a tad and a half of this gravy on here. Just didn't let me borrow a spoon. Need some ketchup. Oh right boy. Y'all don't get this gravy all the time I am. What do y'all think about that? You see, it didn't take long to cook all this, did it? Let me get me a little bit of green beans while I'm right here. Uh, give me a few of these green beans. You got some mashed potatoes? No, I'm going that way though. Then we're going to cut this off, Mama. Mm. Y'all, I'm right over here. Just getting made some potatoes. Mm -mm. So you know if you got taters, you got to go no back to the gravy bowl. No dessert. Mm -hmm. now. We're not gonna have no dessert. This is this tell is what a. Eat for dessert. What are we gonna eat for dessert? I said, what do you, tell them what we eat for dessert at night. We're not going to eat nothing tonight. We've been Tell eating. Tell them what we eat, though. Miss Jenna been making some pudding. Sugar-free pudding. Sugar-free pudding. And light Cool Whip. And she puts a little light Cool Whip on it. Y'all, we're going toward the table over here. Y'all hold on. Hope it don't get too bumpy. Now, you 
I'm talking about looking good. I'm excited about getting this in my mouth. I'm going to try. Do what? I said I can't eat all this. I'm going to try. Ms. Jan says she can't eat it all, but she is definitely going to give it a try. Yeah. I need salt and pepper over here. And okay. I'm going to have to have my... Yes, ma'am. That's it. Got it. <laughs> and y'all, this, you know, me and Miss Jen, it took us a little extra time to cook this because, you know, we, we was, uh, where's the cornbread? <laughs> we didn't cook none, but we got, uh, who said that? <laughs> we got, uh, we cooked all this. It's hard to it's hard to get healthy because everybody's hollering. Put some bacon in there. Do that. Me and Miss Janet cooked all this and it's 6 06. So 30 minutes? It took 30 minutes to cook this. Well, I did cook my potatoes earlier. She, she cooked her potatoes earlier and we had the squash cooked already. But, uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, this sauce is. I know, I gotta figure out something with that. That's it. It took us 30 minutes to cook this. And, uh, Bombs. What are they? Oh, I didn't realize it. that's real plates. We don't usually get them out here. <laughs> mm -mm. But the white gravy, it's just simple to cook, y'all. Simple to cook, and you talk about good, and it don't take nothing. Uh, it takes an ordinary piece of meat. How about that? Alligator steak? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's good with an alligator steak. You know, that's the best one. It's best like that. But to me, Ron loves them. I cook these for Ron. Except I use alligator. Mm. Oh golly. Mm -mm -mm. You can get close to this at the cracker barrel, but it ain't good as mine. I guarantee you that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put it on What's up, buddy Nash? On Facebook if we got it in the cookbook up. You know what I mean? Janet says she's gonna look through the cookbook and if we got it there, she's gonna put this recipe on there. And we we make it. And it's good, it's good on any kind of meat. We take chicken breast and, what, and pound them out, and it makes real good. Pound them out flat and fry them like this. I used to go in uh, in the pond, well, catch in the, in the alligator pond, the big alligators around there. They got a lot of the birds, cranes and stuff. And we used to catch the cranes out of there and eat them. Deep on them. And flatten them out the breast and deep fry them like this and make a gravy. And, oh, oh. My squash. Huh? My squash. Squash? No, 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 no. Mm. Yo, this is just good. Mm -mm. Better than cracker barrel, baby. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dean, what's up, Dean Due? How you doing? She said she loves chicken breast steak. We do too, y'all. It's just. It's good. And it's simple. Y'all see, we, we didn't turn it on till what? Five thirty. Mm -hmm. So it took 35 minutes before we was eating. I think that's, you know, and we do that pretty much, much out a lot of our meals, you know. What's up, Richard? Yeah, you hear the Blue Jays hollering, Richard? Yeah, they're over there. I need to go uh, fill up my bird feeders. Uh, how did your uh, chocolate and cherry Oh, uh, cobbler turn out, Richard. I bought one for Christmas birthday for you. We got one. We got one fixing to cook that next week. We got Susan Hudson. What's up? Boy, this is you good. You know that, probably won't. That's too much for me to eat. Mm. It's good, though. You should have had to put steak on it. Yeah. Mmm. Well, it tastes good, right? Oh, man. I put a little bit of, um... Is that cream? Mm -hmm. I will put in the egg bag. Mm-hmm. Oh, milk? No. Half, half? A little no. bit of that there. Yo, this is good. 
I wish I'd put a little more of that hardened on my uh, steak. It's my work. No potatoes. Good work. Right. Not the same. I don't want. I like my white gravy with, with just salt and pepper. Mm. What's up, Benjamin? Say hi for me in Quebec, Canada. Benjamin. Benjamin. Lucan? Lucan, I think it is. I hope I didn't mess your name up too bad. <laughs> Daniel Pickett. Somebody said they want to come see us for alligator tour. Daniel come Pickett. Pitcher. Said he'd come and see us for alligator tour. He wants to go swimming. I ain't no problem. We can arrange that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. I think I'm on there one day. So it ain't just me. What's up, Mike Biddy? Mike said he can smell it. <laughs> Chase Jackson, what's up, brother? Okay. Happy yeah. Independence Day. Happy Independence to all y'all, too. Richard. Okay, babe, babe, this is what Richard said. What? He said it was the bomb. He drizzled her with syrup over the cherry pie. Oh, before he called the top. Oh. Sounds good, Richard. Richard said it was good. Mm. We're going to try it. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to try it, y'all. And Miss Jen's going to post later on. She's going to post a, uh, a, white gravy recipe, maybe? a white gravy recipe. And uh, and it's good with everything. All right. You get up in the morning, make your pan of biscuits, and you take this white gravy and mix some breakfast sausage mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about this. Well, first night, this is for the lady. First night, you make it like this. Yeah. In the morning, you get up and make this sausage, add it to it, and then eat it with your breakfast. Mm hmm. Right? Mm hmm. Don't forget to like the page and the videos. Oh, you got. My daughter made me some things over here to say, and uh, oh, can't show y'all. She said, "Make sure y'all like my page and share it. Share these videos, and uh, make sure you like the page and share the video." And we really enjoy doing this. I, I mean, I really do. I really enjoy. I get so I read every comment. Now tonight I go in there. I can't read them while we're doing this. I know I skip a lot of y'all stuff. But I really go in the house. You can ask Miss Janet. I get up two or three o'clock every night. I've been doing it for years. It drives her nuts. But I've been doing this for years. When I get up, I read every one of these comments. I read every one. Daniel Pitcher said he really wants to what? Test my luck swimming through the red, red eyes, eyes night. at night. I've done it before. Yvonne Mitchell, how you doing? That's my sister on here. Fix Lolly her what? Uh-oh. Fix Lolly her. Snowball. Or snowball, yeah. Yeah, if Lottie was here, Lottie's at the camp. They down the river. Mm -mm. Y'all, this stuff. I wish y'all could taste it. I got a buddy coming in from Jordan. Can y'all see that? Look at that. That's just, ooh. This is good, huh, babe? Yeah, it's a vegetable. Mm. Now I gotta clean this machine up, take it up, and get it my uh blackstone, gotta get it get it uh cleaned up, get it ready to go camping this week. Think you got a bag to put it in? To go bag? Yep, it's got a go bag and that thing's pretty neat. We need to go down the river and cook. Y'all, we're going to do that one day. Uh, I got to go down to my land on the river. I got land down there. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down there. Bring I got to go tent. cut. Huh? Go bring a tent. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about all that mess. <laughs> it's going to be hot. You know. Maybe we can bring your sister in law. Yeah. Well, we'll just go down the river and cook. We can bring the blackstone with us. Cooking down the river. That'd be fun, huh, buddy? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mimic that like you go down the river and eat tuna fish. You don't get it at home. It's just better with water. It's you just know. something we don't do at home. We gotta go jug around in it. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, it's something we don't really get at home. We need to wait when Daryl comes to go jug around. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Who's that? Somebody saying Debbie Mark Andrews says, where can I buy parting seasoning? Uh, uh, they're working on getting it, I'm thinking Win Dixie's now. My daughter lives in Covington, was wondering if I can buy some when I visit in August. Actually, uh, I think August is when they come into Win Dixie. Yeah, they're going to start selling in Win Dixie. Right now, you can go to uh, Hardens.com. Yeah, Harden Harden dot com. Hardenseasoning.com. Harden she said anywhere but online. Huh? No, that's the only place I know. Uh, I think they're going into some Win Dixie stores in Alabama right now. We're kind of waiting on more information on that. What that gravy is just good, huh? Mmm. I wish my buddy was here. He put stir fry on his last night. Mm hmm. Here in Georgia. Yeah. Mm. This tastes really good. Like this fruit. It tastes like alligator a little bit. Yeah. Good Clark. How you doing? Kalita. Kalita Clark. I hope I'm saying that wrong. My husband cooked sausage and eggs, toast this morning. Cool. On the Blackstone. <laughs> it's good, ain't it? Ooh, I love it. I love that. Me and Miss Janet cook that out here all the time. We get out here in the mornings. I wonder what you're drinking. Lime oh. sparkling salsa water. That's like, it's like a Coca Cola. Got the fizz and stuff yeah. in it, but it, it don't have no sugar, no sugar or nothing in it. I ain't much of a drinker. I drink Miss Janet makes tea. I drink that, but I'm I, I'm mainly a water guy. I like my water. Mm. Mm. Yo, this is so good. Beth Buck, what's up? We should need to take my dog, Jasper, and train him. He would be, yeah. How many dogs to be? Nice. No, I don't want no dog. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the reason. What's up, Gene? Do we? We're going to take a branch from fishing. Oh, in the morning, where at? Tater Woods. Woods. I don't know where that's at. Good luck, though. No, I don't want no dog because I do want a dog and I don't want a dog. Uh, I wouldn't one if we didn't take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and it, I'm, I'm funny about my animals. When I get animals, they, they, they're more like kids. They stay with me everywhere I go. If he can tell me he can't don't cook for ain't gonna cook for it. Yeah. And he ain't gonna bring it in the house, he can have one. And what's he gonna do with it when we go on the road? That's true, y'all. I want a dog, but I just don't wanna mm. I don't want to be, uh, it's problem, problem is when we get ready to leave somewhere, it's hard now. Yeah, now we Misty, just pick up and go. Church this morning. Who? Misty. Good hey, Misty. Life. Go down a little bit. Down a little bit. Miss Jen's telling me to go down. Now I'm going down. Time, I'm trying. Misty Gazzardo. Hey, Misty. How you doing? How am I at you? That's the drummer's wife. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I don't believe we're quite ready for a dog. Sooner or later when we slow down. When we slow down, we're going, I'm probably going to get another dog. When the right one comes up, it's going to come to me. When we start staying home, babe. But the Nash wants to know when we're coming up north. I'm ready to come now. <laughs> it's done hot here. Mm. Let's see what else my daughter got rode over here for me to do. Mm. I can't believe I'm getting all this down. I can't, that's good. <laughs> mm -mm. 
It's all right now, but it's going to hurt later. Right? Yep. Yeah, if any of y'all out there interested in, uh, in, uh, or got, got product or something you want me to advertise on here, give me a holler. Uh, we do all kind of camping, cooking, hunting, fishing, anything like that. But we gotta like it and use it. But we gotta like your product. It gotta be good. It gotta work. Or it ain't gonna be on my page. Uh, seasoning is different. You know, everybody got a different taste for seasoning, but I'll, anytime you see something on my, my page, it's something that I really, I'll buy it. Usually I wind up buying it first. And, and uh, I test it, and I put it through the ringer. If it's a good product, I should I I use it. You know, that's just where I am. That goes for ice chest or anything. Beth Buck, what's up? Trust me, she said she knows. She has six dogs. Oh golly. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, we had a couple kiddo dogs too. Yeah, and that, that's what Tyler was. Tyler was my daughter's dog to start with. I don't know if y'all know the story, but we got Tyler from my daughter. The Christmas. And um, uh, around around November, I think it was. Y'all want the Boaz? No. What you mean? The next year? <laughs> that year. I give it to her for Christmas. Yeah. November's before Christmas. You give her Tyler for Christmas. For November. It's mm. only two weeks before Christmas. I give it to her. Mm. I couldn't hide okay. him out anymore. Okay, she couldn't hide him. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, y'all, I gotta push this plate I'm back. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, ate all that. I can't believe I left that. <laughs> I had all my steak though, y'all did good with that. Rosemary Harvey, how you doing? She says, hey, Miss Janet. Hey. Somebody said something about ketchup. Ooh, love ketchup. <laughs> mm. I've seen it on there, but I can't find it. Angela Taylor. Angela Taylor. Miss Janet usually puts ketchup on everything. We go we go to the finest steakhouse they got. Miss Janet wants K, uh, A1 and, and uh, no. No. Which one do you like? I forgot. One. <laughs> That's all I want. Heinz 57. She wants Heinz 57 steak sauce. And Heinz ketchup. That's it. And Heinz ketchup. Don't give her nothing else. You'll get the eyes. Mm. Barbara Spears, how you doing? No, I won't eat it. Got some gravy what? <laughs> Barbara Spears, where I got gravy at? In my beard. <laughs> no, I love it. That's not gravy, that's gray. <laughs> Let me see. Nope, that's gray. That's gray, that ain't gravy. <laughs> Karen Smith, what's up, Bruce? How y'all doing? Matt Barnett. Is that Matt? What's up? Have you ever what? Made homemade ketchup. No? Nope. Never made homemade ketchup. I'm not no big ketchup eater. That's why I don't do it. Uh Bass Drop. That's Austin Carroll. How you doing, Austin? Bass drop losing out. We know what I said. We've been up that way. Pat A. Broadway, what's up? He said he hates cheap ketchup too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Heinz Pizza 7, that's what Mr. Jen and Heinz Ketchup. Uh, and the next yeah, thing we'll is. We'll go in the dirt. Steakhouse, they ain't got nines, I ain't eat getting a steak. She won't, she won't get a steak. I'll get a salad or something else. Pasta or something. Yo, that was just My good. middle son has to put text on it. Yep. Jason Williams, what's up? Do you like oysters? I love oysters. I like them cooked, I like them raw. I like them any way you can get them. Daniel wants to know what we do for mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes right now. Right there by your thumbs, but right there. Yeah. Uh, we don't got no mosquitoes right now, but I was talking about yeah, the got a fan on it. Yeah, we got a fan on us too. Daniel Snell says he's allergic to mosquitoes. What spray did Miss Shannon spray? Go back. Uh, that's this stuff right somewhere over here. She got she got some of my daughter made up. For you can Google 
Uh, have you been checking your hives? For very, no, I ain't got none, none of that in my hive. So, um, I got a buddy that's really into bees, and uh, he got probably 40 or 50 hives. And uh, he come over and looked at it. He said everything looks good. Uh, but I will treat later on. I don't want to treat none when I got honey. Mine's still making good. I've done got off them two hives I, I had. Five, 25, 40, I, I thought you said this morning. Right at 40 gallons. They want no, no sweet tea? <laughs> Look at the blue. No what? No sweet tea? <laughs> no, not tonight. I got a uh, can drink tonight. But my bees, uh, they're doing good. Uh, I'm fixing to, uh, well, I, I, I'm on a, I might check them tomorrow. We went to church this morning, and uh, who was it, Liam? A little, little boy, Liam. Yeah. He's actually kidding to me. Uh, the one that was here last weekend. Uh, I don't think we did no videos here when he was we here. We did, yeah, I was cooking. Oh, yeah, we was cooking dessert. a little bit, desserts and stuff. With Liam, the little blonde-headed boy, he asked me to come. Uh, wanted me to come see and get baptized this morning. So when we went to church this morning, we, uh, after church service was over, we went went to the next building and he got they were baptizing him and he was just excited. We had we had a good time though. I'm gonna put that picture on your Facebook. You must have to put it on my Facebook in a little while, but uh, Nicole Moyers Moyers says our daughter says hello, Kaylin. Hi. Hey, Kayla. How you doing? Kaylin. Oh. Here, Riley from Illinois. What's up? Illinois is in the house. My buddy Kenny is sticking head up that way, I think, or is he going to Missouri? I didn't talk to him. I talked to him. <laughs> I think he's heading from Missouri for a little bit. Uh, yeah, we had him. Is it hot up there? Huh? Is it hot in Missouri? It's hot, right now? yeah. Uh, probably so. It's better there than here, I would guess. Chuck Rigger. Rigger? Rigger. Rigger. Oh, Chuck Rigger. Because of you, I have I created my own outdoor kitchen. Who? All you need is a place to heat up a few pans and just just get outside and cook. And if you cook it, then people are gonna come and they gonna eat. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad to see that though. Um, and there's nothing to cooking. You say me, me and Miss Anna told y'all all week we was gonna cook this, and I didn't want to tell nobody what we were cooking. We didn't actually know till <laughs> kind of last night we figured it out. But 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 uh, Chuck Ritter, Rigger, uh, stuff like this most people won't they cook. A lot of people go out and eat. And that that stuff. To, oh, that McDonald's stuff, um, Burger King. I'm sorry, y'all. I shouldn't even say no name. But I just I just can't eat it. Uh, once you eat this good cooking, you don't want that stuff. And look, by the time you get up and get ready and go. Go to town. We we took thirty minutes to cook this. It's gonna take more to clean up. I think. It took us thirty minutes to cook huh. this. That's it's not. Take longer to clean oh yeah, it up. it's gonna take longer for her to clean it up. No, for you to clean it up. For me, oh, I thought it was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot down there? Who said that? Peggy. Yes, it is very hot down here. I think it's hot done. What's up? Right now, huh? Yeah, it's only about ninety, so it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad, y'all. Yo. Yeah. Joy Tally, how you doing? From Tallahassee, Alabama. She says she's enjoying the show. Patrick Lee, what's up? <laughs> Daniel Butcherman, did I say? Vegas. Yeah, Daniel oh, Butcherman. Versus High from Virginia Beach. Country cooking. That's it, buddy. We cooked this, and it, 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 the gravy took a little while to cook, and the steaks took a little bit, but, but not too long. But uh, I tell you what, it was so good, huh, babe? Yeah. We sure liked it. Yeah. And I don't know what we're going to cook next. Oh, I, I do. Either. What? Yeah, yeah, we're cooking. What? We, we got the birthday party next week, y'all. Yes. Yeah, it, just, it just so happens to fall in, in, in our cooking show. So we're going to be cooking three or four different kinds of cobblers. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly Lee, how you doing? But you can't eat them already. When you're not at home, where's your favorite place to eat at? Rockin' Willis. 
we like rocking wheelies around here in Ponchatoula, and we just go there because uh, it's got good food. We got a lot of good restaurants down here, really, y'all. A lot of good. We got Don Seafood, uh, Murphy's, uh, uh, Mendel, uh, Rockin' Willies, Meal Patios. We just got a lot of top-notch restaurants around our area. For years, we didn't have a lot, lot to choose from, but now we got we got some good restaurants, real good. Forrest E. Palmer, what's up? Says hi, Bruce. Okay, Miss Jen says I need to go inside. We just uh, I just fixed up the wire out here. Remember the trees fell down and got everything messed up. Patrick, what did you say? Patrick Lee said got got to hop off, Bruce. If you need, be messing me. All right, brother. <laughs> oh yeah, I want y'all tell uh, y'all know Billy Dog with uh, wheelchairs outdoors. Today is Billy Dog's birthday. Right after y'all like my page and share it, go to Billy, Billy Dog's page, Wheelchairs Outdoors, and look him up, Billy Dog, and tell him happy birthday. He can get a kick out of that. Today is his birthday. I just called him a little while ago. John Hanks, what's up? John Hanks said he just started cooking uh, cobblers in the truck pot. Lately, oh, super yeah, easy. Y'all should give it a try. We probably will. I've seen that on. Uh, uh, I'm always ready to cook the cobbler, buddy. Richard Shriver, mm -hmm. what's up? Where's the grandbabies? The grandbabies are out to camp. Uh, they went down the river this weekend. Buddy Ness said he sure enjoys watching us. His Senate needs to plan to come to see. Y'all one day, nothing like good fellowship with good people. Yep, that's what it's all about, y'all. Faye Winfield, how you doing? Hello from where? I don't know, Wyoming. That's way over there. Matt Barnett, what's up, Matt? Did you get what? I lost you, Matt. Barnett. Yeah, I got my top power turned on in the, uh, well, I did it. I rewired it. I had to rewire my, my kitchen out here. They burned a bunch of wires up. Uh, pulled, a, pulled a main wire out of, out of it. Just poof, popped it out. So I had to start all over. But I rewired it yesterday. Got it all going. Gia, what? These deaths are... Much... <laughs> Whoa, I ain't going to try that one, y'all. But Gia, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Gio has a seven-year-old, Brody. What's up, Brody? You can say Brody. <laughs> I can say Brody. I can't say his last name, Gio. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dan Perkins, what's up? Augusta, Georgia. I bet it's hot there. I've been to Augusta many times. Yep. I guess y'all, we're going to have to let y'all go, me and Miss Janet. And Miss, I better I'll just stay here and talk, huh? She's... She's starting to walk around. When she gets busy like that, she'll clean the whole thing up. What? Nah. Nothing? I said, go ahead. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? Yeah, yeah I know anything y'all need, y'all can go to my, uh, go to my, look on my Facebook page, or look on my, my website, actually, brucetoalligatorman.com. They tell you where to get to do rags, the cookbooks, boat tours, gator stuff. What? They just tell you a bunch of stuff, you know. Jean Dewey said it's a woman thing. Yeah, she started cleaning, and she can't sit still. She says I can't sit still. But I guess I need to get my butt up and start. She says that if she sits still, it don't get done. Done. So she has to get up and start it. But I guess I better go help her, Eddie. Uh, Brucinger, Brucinger says happy 4th of July to all y'all and I'm saying it too happy 4th of July to uh, y'all Cleta Clark how you doing uh oh Cleta I lost you again oh Cleta says she got a 7 year old granddaughter was gigging frogs last night that is cool I like to hear that I love to take the grandkids out on that boat and let them go we have fun we make up the jug lines and we put uh, glow sticks in them and um, 
We're going to fix it. We're getting the camp fixed up. Our old camp fixed up. My son-in-law's fixing it up a little bit. And I'm fixing the, uh, the, uh, get me a, uh, build me another little camp on my land. John Hanks, have you been to Real Foot Lake? Well, yes, I've been to Real Foot Lake. I used to, uh, who said that? John Hanks. Uh, John Hanks says, have you been to Real Foot Lake? In West Tennessee. Well, yes, I have. Many times. You don't believe me? Uh, I used to buy turtles right there in, uh, let me think, let me think. Horn Beach. Horn Beach, Tennessee. I used to buy turtles in Horn Beach. But, uh, uh, y'all have a famous singer through there. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. But before he died, I sat down and ate a biscuit with him there one time. This was a long time ago. He got a little biscuit stand soon. A little, uh, a little store right there in the real foot that uh, sells biscuits and breakfast. A little cafe deal. I used to go in there and eat all the time. I'm trying to think of the singer's name. But he was from real foot. He was from real foot. Uh, he, he's getting gone now. Oh, what is his name? Who are you talking about? That singer I met right there in uh, real foot that time. Remember we used to go to Hornbeck, Tennessee and buy all them turtles? Yep. We used to buy from a car lot, a used car lot there. The man had a uh, pig farm on one side of the road. He raised hogs. And then he uh, they sold used cars. There was three brothers, I think it was. Right there in Hornbeck, Hornbeck Tennessee, right next to Real Foot. Well, y'all look like we've been on here about an hour. I think mm -hmm. the limit's three. But we don't want to push it too much. I guess we're going to get out of here. Robert... Moffitt says, happy, whoop, whoop, happy 4th of July to yours and the family from U.S. Kansas. All right. Thank y'all. I want to tell y'all have a good, happy 4th of July and be real careful out there. Be careful because it's just not you you got to worry about. You got to watch these other people, you know, especially if you're in the boats. And watch them kids around that water. Yeah, oh. somebody else in the we, we, we got somebody in the hospital right now. A little kid fell in the water. We don't know the details. We don't know if he's going to make it or not. We don't know nothing. We don't really know nothing about it, but it, it, it's just a bad situation. And, and just watch them kids around that water. Uh, oh, it, it, you know, it don't take but a second. So make sure them kids got the live chickens on when they go outside, if they're around that water. And just, just keep your eye on, on them babies. Don't don't let them babies get hurt. All right, y'all, we're going to get out of here. And uh, Miss Janice, Miss Janice right over there waving at them, baby. Tell them bye-bye. And I hope I taught a few of y'all something cooking, you know. Like I said, this wasn't nothing but a simple meal, you know. But we got we try to get a lot of people to tell me they don't never cook at all, never have cooked. So I'm going to teach some people how to cook. Uh... You know, I, I got friends that used to couldn't cook either, and uh, they good cooks now. But uh, around here, you go to camps and stuff or whatever, you know, you just got to learn to cook. Cook and clean, you know, it's part of part of camp life. You know, I remember going mm -hmm. to camp with my grandpa, I had to wash dishes with a little bitty thing. You know, everybody pits in and does something. You teach the boys how to do it. You teach the boys, teach the boys, not just the girls. <laughs> yeah, Jen said, if you teach your boys how to uh, cook and clean, said your, your uh, their mother-in-laws. Their mother-in-laws will love it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yep. Okay, y'all, we're gonna really get out of here, and we I had a good time. I hope y'all did. Uh, Miss Janet's right there. Tell them bye-bye, babe. And we're bye, gonna bye, get bye. out of here. But <laughs> I enjoyed it, and we're gonna see y'all later on. But for sure, next Sunday we're gonna be cooking something. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>